Hi guys. Hello everyone. How's it going? Hopefully good. Um, today we're going to make one of Antonio Carluccio's favorite pasta dishes from what we understand out of his recipe book Passion for Pasta and it is going to be Angel's Hair with Lemon, forgive my Italian pronunciations, Capelli D'Angelo Alamo. <laughs> Okay, so let's go through the ingredients that we need. We are going to use our homemade pasta that we made earlier. Um, it's supposed to be angel hair. That's the thinnest our pasta maker will make it. So that's what we're going to be using. Um, the recipe does say that you could use either um, angel hair or spaghetti. So I'm, I'm sure that will do. Um, and then you need one pound of that. Um, then we are going to use... Um, three tablespoons of heavy cream and we are going to use the zest of half a, a large lemon or one full lemon if it's a tiny lemon as well as the juice of the lemon um, and we will also need half a cup of grated parmesan or pecorino cheese salt and black pepper and a little chopped parsley so what we're doing right now is we are bringing a big pot of water to a boil and then once that's got a good rolling boil going we will add the pasta. Okay we have our water that's up to a nice boil here. Let me set this aside so I don't burn my hand. So we're going to add the pasta and it's going to boil for one minute. Yeah this is fresh pasta it hasn't been dried. Um, so it really boils pretty quickly. Should I cover the pasta or just let just it go? Just bring it up to a boil. Okay. And then once it boils, we'll cook it for a minute. Okay. You can maybe give... Oh, yeah. All right. That looks great. Okay. There we go. It just has to... It was boiling. We just had to bring it up to a reboil. Mm hmm And then we'll... Oh, yeah. Okay. So while we get that up to a boil, we're going to go ahead and melt the butter over a very low heat. Put the butter in, and then what should we add? So once the butter is melted, we are going to add um, the cream and the lemon zest. Okay. okay it looks like our pot might be boiling there, so I'm going to start the timer yep, for one boiling. minute. Okay, nicely. Okay, so that's probably okay, so just now about So we add the cream and the zest. The cream and the lemon zest. Okay, so add the cream. And add the lemon zest. Okay. And just give it a little stir. That part there on the left is boiling over. Okay. Turn down the heat. It. Turn down the heat. Turn it off. Okay. Water still boiling. I think we saved a mess there. Excellent. Okay. There's our minute. I don't know if you want to try the pasta and see if you think it's done. I was always taught that you'd throw it against the wall, and if it stuck, it was good. But Antonio says you shouldn't yeah, do that. Don't do that. Are we mm. done? Are we done? Okay, so now we are going to add the pasta to the skillet. I have my Western meatness here. Long pasta strands, but we're getting there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Stragglers here on the side, but that's okay. Probably enough, eh? Yeah, it looks good. What I see. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna add the cheese. Okay. Right on top. Yep, and the lemon juice. Okay. And you're just gonna stir it together. Okay. It's easy as that. Let's see what happens. 
then if it looks like it's a little bit too thick, we can add some pasta add water. Some pasta water. I don't know if that'll be necessary or not. Well, I can tell you what, it looks delicious. It smells Fantastic. wonderful. Mm. I can remember I used to think spaghetti was just tomato sauce and noodles. <laughs> That's what spaghetti was, but apparently I'm not correct on that. Okay. There's all kinds of ways to make pasta. Well, and that's how easy it is. And that, so, then we're going to season it with a little bit of black pepper. Okay, we can do that. Um, Too bad you guys can't smell this at home because it is fantastic. Of course, Antonio wouldn't say a little black pepper. <laughs> from what I understand. I don't think there is too, such a thing as too much black pepper. So I guess you could use red paper, uh, red pepper flakes as well if you want to. You won't do that because you don't like the heat. And yeah, that's as simple, simple and easy as, as it gets. gets. And, and we're going to take a small break and plate it up. A little pasta water? Yeah, a little pasta water. Mmm, I cannot wait to try that. Okay, so our pasta is ready to be plated. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get her out of there. I think, hopefully it turned out pretty good. It looks really good. It it's... smells great, it looks good. And then pasta just... Limona, or Limon. We're going to garnish it with a little bit of chopped parsley. Okay. Again, making it look pretty is not my strongest suit. That's good. That's good. And then do you want to try it? I'm going to have to take a little taste here and see what we think. Get a little parsley on there. Mm. I can see why Antonio liked it. Delicious? Mm, it's delicious. Taste the lemon. Mm. One of my new favorite dishes. Okay, awesome. guys. That was quick and easy. Easy weeknight dinner. And... We're saying goodbye. And we're goodbye. Hopefully you enjoy this dinner if you try it at home. Mm -hmm.